Hey boys, it's Zoo. Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time we met with the chief of this place, the Fallen Armor, at least Junks. It turns out it's Egil's father, and he wants us to kill him. Just like that. Like, yeah, go ahead, kill him. Uh, I don't know if we're going to or not, but... Uh, Melia, or not Melia, Fiora is in need of repair. We went and got a part, which is out here, and I got slaughtered a few times, but that's okay. We got it now. In between parts, I just explored a little bit of this area. I managed to get to another digit. Explore a little bit more of the fifth and the fourth. So we can just warp, which we will, back to junks, because that's the easiest thing to do. So that's what we're doing. Here is your part. And the Hyantia um, have made their alliance with the Homs and the Nopon. And Dixon just left again, so I don't know what's really going on with him. I really don't, can't figure him out. Anyway, here is your missing piece. Save my dear friend. How are you? How did it go? Did you find the unit? Yes. You have collected the piezoelectric, they call it something else, unit to Lonada. Fiora should be okay now. Good. I think we found it. Is this the piezoelectric unit? Yes, that's it. Well done. Leonardo, will Fiora be okay now? She'll be fine. It will just take me a little time to reconfigure and install the unit. Leave it to me. You get some rest. But... Shulk, do you want her to see you looking exhausted when she wakes up? You're right. I'll try and get some rest. Thank you for everything you're doing. Uh, by the way... Yes? The Chief says he wants to speak with you. I think it's about Egil. I'll go and see him. He wants Egil stopped. And so do we. But I need to sleep on it. Good. You mustn't overburden yourself. We will help you in any way we can. Thank you. Alright. It was this heart-to-heart -heart handshake with? Fiora and Dunban. Okay, where are we going now? Do you want to talk again? No? I'll have to go out there somewhere. I have to go over here somewhere. To get some rest. Where am I going to go get some rest? Not that clear. Maybe on my way out. No. Nope. Well, these are open to me, so. There? <laughs> In here? Okay. Must be tired. Please really use this room. Would you like to take a rest? Yeah, let's do it. Um... How are you? Sleep well? Yes, very well. I wanted to, uh... Um... Talk about your son. Have you made up your mind? Yes, we agree with you. Egil must be stopped, but we can't act now. Oh? Why is that? Before we came here, we heard of plans to form an allied force on Bionis. Any day now, they're going to launch an attack on Mechonis. But it's too dangerous. Egil has made a weapon that could kill us all. The weapon that Munkar was using? The one that shoots green fluid? He said it can decompose any being from Bionis. We have to go back and warn them, before it's too late. Well, you could always ask me to do it. Dixon! What are you doing here? I can't believe you found us. Why? This place is directly below the fortress. If you fell from up there, 
I figured you must have ended up here. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> you're looking well, Dixon. Ah, I see you're looking like your usual old self. You know each other? Kinda. <laughs> I scratch his back. He scratches mine. He tells us about the outside world. And we give him technology and information. Why did you keep that to yourself? That information is vital to all who fight Maconis. Not all of us Homs are good people. What would happen if the Maconis hating types found this place? These Machina cut themselves off from the world to get away from pointless fighting. So they escaped to live in peace. Somewhere they wouldn't be seen. Makes sense. Clever little crown princess, ain't ya? So this is where you obtained all that stuff you brought back to Colony 9. I wondered where you were getting it from. I thought it was fine as long as it helped shulk out at the lab. I guess the secret's out now. So, that weapon. How dangerous are we talking about? I haven't discovered why, but it disintegrates anything it touches. But only if it's living tissue from Bionis. Hmm. Bet that would come in handy. Dixon. I'm only joking. Anyway, for now, just don't let any of it touch you. I'll come up with something to counter it. Leave it with me and I'll keep you posted. You lot go and take care of that eagle or whatever his name is. If you take him down, the Allied force might not even be needed. Okay. Let me think about it for a bit. Fiora. Ain't made your mind up yet. Dixon, listen. Dunban told me all about it. The goal of your mission. So, you wanted to avenge Fiora? Yes. But you found her alive, and now you've got her back. So, you're all done now, ain't you? <sighs> what are you fighting for, Dixon? Me? He just gets right under my skin, that Egil guy. Because he's trying to exterminate the Homs? There's that. But that ain't everything. It's his hatred for the Bionis. Or more like his aim to wipe out everything that lives on the Bionis. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing. That Bionis allied force is coming together quicker than I thought. Really? Yep. That high end tier prince is really moving things along. Will they launch an attack on Maconis? Of course. But it looks like the Prince has got another plan. He gave me a message for you. When the Allied Force attacks Mechonis, you don't need to join the fight. He wants you to take advantage of the chaos and do what it is you need to do. Prince Callion said that. I was pretty surprised too. He looks like a sissy, but he's got guts. Yeah. I think that's the type of man he is. So, what are you going to do? He wanted me to let him know. We're going to the Maconis capital. You're going to take down Egil? I don't know. I can't forgive the Mekon for what they've done. But after listening to Mekon, I think there might be another way. You're too soft. Do you really think that? Too right. He's the self-proclaimed leader of Mekonis. I heard about what he did to the Monado. If you face him, it might get eaten up, but you have to throw everything at him. Even if there's only a slim chance of winning. Hesitate for one second, and you're a goner. We won't let Shulk die. Not ever. Fiora, are you okay to be walking around? Yep. I have to hand it to her. That Lenarda's pretty good. And not just with machines. 
She's also quite familiar with organic physiology. You went to get the things you needed to cure me, right? I'm sorry I caused all this hassle. But I'm fine now. I'll be by your side, fighting to protect you. No matter where we go, no matter how difficult it gets, Shulk will do the right thing. It doesn't matter how slim our chances. Shulk will always stick to the right path. And don't forget, it's because of Shulk that we are all here, fighting together. I think that shows he has a strong character. Am I wrong, Dixon? Well, when I think about everything you lot have done, I can't deny that. Dixon, we're going to the Maconis capital. About the Allied force. Yeah, leave it to me. I ain't gonna let anything happen to the colony. Those Mekon won't get away with anything else. Are you going? Yes. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> you might run into someone called Venea in the capital. Just mention my name, she'll lend a hand. Venea? Is she a Machina as well? She's my daughter. She won't be far from Egil. Hold on. You mean she's Egil's sister? You've got it, lad. And you say she'll help us? The girl doesn't want to hurt Egil, but she doesn't like what he's doing. She should be a big help to you young'uns. I don't know why she'd help us, but we'll try and find her when we get there. <laughs> Good luck. Fiora, don't forget. I've only made temporary repairs. I think you should be able to fight, but don't overdo it. Come and see me the moment you experience any further system failure. I will. Thank you. In the meantime, I'm hoping I'll find a way to restore your former body. Is that possible? Theoretically, it might be possible to use your genetic information to regenerate your missing organs. Sorry, it's unfair for me to give you hope. To be honest, there's very little chance. But if there's even the slightest possibility, I'll have to try. Thank you, Leonardo. Fiora. <laughs> Don't make that face. Okay, let's go. Off you go, kid. I'm counting on you and the Monado. Don't let me down, Shulk. Why did that face betray me? And that light? No, that is not possible. It must have been remnants of memories from her former life that made me lose control. Memories. They are what limited the potential of Metal Face as well. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. All my servants need is the instinct to fight. This Homs female. She was with the boy who wields the Monado. A light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. So it is this male. The boy Shulk remains a thorn in my side. I will enjoy watching my minion crush him. Be still, my servant. I see that your memories cause you much suffering.
Shulk, take this. What is it? There's a path leading from the base of Digit 2 to the foot of the Mechonis. This is the security key to the door that seals the path. We who live in the village don't have any need for it, but it will be invaluable to you. We're in your debt, Linada. Shulk, Fiora, take care in your journey. We will. Linada, thank you for everything. Ten bucks says that's Gatto in that uh, mech on. That new faced one. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. I have a little sister, you know? We're close. Hey, here is a sister, of a, the beautiful sister. We're close. We even help each other out with work. I bet you don't know any sisters are that close. You know, sisters are pretty close. Brothers are sometimes too. Are you want to have a quest for me? Try to get in. Yeah, try to get in your house. <laughs> I don't know what can I do. It's so embarrassing. I can just stand here all day. Sounds like you have a problem. Let's show up to our queue. Um, we do what we can. Oh, sorry, just keep myself there. There's no point in hiding it. You're locked out. This is my house door. It's broken. I just can't seem to open it. And now I can't get back inside. I'm pretty good at fixing things, but I have problems with... I haven't got the parts that I need. I know, I can ask you for help. Okay. Well, we have some of them. We should pick them up. Uh, I don't want it broken even worse. You know, it's my job to fix things. I can't stand if things are broken. Blah, blah, blah. What parts do you need? Multiple objectives. Okay. Probably to me. Got the five filaments. And that's it. <laughs> what else did you need? <laughs> Dated frames from M56 prototypes on the fallen arm. Okay. Well, we'll get that eventually. We shall get that eventually. So now I gotta work my way up the Macanus from the first finger. Let's get a map up. See where I gotta go. Over here, maybe. I haven't really over. Or here. I haven't really explored a lot of this place. up this way. Cantor's not going anywhere. Hmm. I feel like I should explore over here. So we'll go here. And then we'll go over here. I wouldn't. Whoa, what is that? It's like scaffolding. <laughs> cool. Or a rocket launcher. Hmm. The arrow is pointing in that direction, but I have no idea how to get over there. See beach. All right, well, let's go and see what we can find. Might be somewhere to climb up. May not be though. There's an orb there, so I guess I'm allowed so far in the water. I think that's an orb. <laughs> I 
Let me up. I'm totally gone the wrong way. That is peaceful, so... There's an orb, I think. Oh, please let me up there. <laughs> I think I made a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Looks like I can climb down. This is a lift. There's a punctuation up there. How do I get up there? <laughs> ah, nuts. I went the wrong way. I know it. How do I get over there? Is there somewhere that I've been to fall down? Digit 1 crevice, crevasse. Digit 3, let's go to here. And... Where do I want to go? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Cross the bridge. Alright, let's see where this takes me. I'm gonna ignore everything. Where do I have to go? I have no idea. So this is where I swam up, so I guess I'm going the right way. I don't know how to get up. Maybe this is it. Digit 2 plane. want to call these, uh all the paths on like this path here would be like it's lines on its hand <laughs> I feel like I've been already up here though I want to get down where that punctuation digit 2 punctuation was for that quest so it was like over here somewhere Somewhere. Should be. Oh, I can climb up there. Is there a spot to climb down? Where was it? Oh, upper level. Digit 2. Over there. Hmm. Right. I think. <laughs> yeah, it's like right there. So like right here. Aha! <laughs> Climb up is gonna be long. <laughs> What quest did you have, person? Persons? 
Hello. Oh, you wanted the food. It's time to eat. I'm getting starting to get hungry. Okay. Here's your food. I have to go back to her. I can just warp the I'm not going to do that now. Yeah. What do you want to help with? It's my girlfriend. So you have to keep watch over the McConaughey's field. She works full time, so we've got this long distance thing going. And with me being scared of heights, I can't go see her. How'd you manage to get down here? <laughs> Up there is pretty high up. Uh, collect a tear of the sky from distant fingertip. Only on a thunderstorm. Okay. No, nope, probably leave it to me. Let's give it a go. Okay. I'm gonna collect this item. Anything else? I'm gonna switch up my party. It's done Dan and Ryan really like Shulk. So let's put Fiora and Melia in there. And no fighting girls. <laughs> so now we'll go back up. The long climb up. Yeah, that took a while to get to. Soon, I'll get to the top and then we'll call it a day. I'll get to the like the fingertip of digit two, like where I was before I turned around. I can just warp, but like I don't think I can warp to the McConaughey's. I can warp to other places now, though, like I could before. An item. Let's grab that. Two items. Go. And yeah, we'll end off here for today. I'm just gonna collect this item. So I gotta climb up there. There's a path over here. This is the path I'm supposed to take, I think, but I'm gonna climb up there first. So that orb is. We'll end off here for today, and next day we'll continue on. What is that over there? Why is there a punctuation over there? Why? That's not where I gotta go. I don't know. I'm gonna check that out off screen, so yeah. Continue from here next day. I'll let you know what that is when I get over there. And yeah, see you next video. I am confuffled. <laughs>